Rhonda and I have been traveling for the last six months out in the West Coast. And let me tell you, we've had a blast. But our Class A, which has a fiberglass front end, has taken a beating and it's starting to fade. But I have a solution for that. And in this video, I'll show you how to make that front end look brand new all over again. So stay tuned. Okay, now on to the rinse. Now that we have all the washing done, we're going to let this dry and it's going to be sunny out when I start to wax this vehicle. We're going to wait till tomorrow morning where the RV is sitting in the shade because we don't want to wax while we're sitting in the sun. It'll harden too fast to make it difficult to get off. Isn't that right, Jazz? Yep. Good girl. So when Rhonda and I got back from our trip out west, we did notice the front end was fading a lot. And I had two choices. I could either hire somebody to get make it shiny and brand new all over again, or I could do it myself. So Rod and I did some research on the internet and I found a boat restoration guy who restores the fiberglass on boats. And he was using a product called McGuire's and it's actually a fiberglass restoration system and it's three different bottles. And so I thought, well, what the heck? Let's try it out, see what happens on the RV and you can follow along and see that. The other problem, and I think it's a problem because I don't like to spend a lot of money and maybe I'm gonna regret this, but he was using a high powered polishing, professional polishing. And yeah, he does that for a living and, and I could see where he'd wanna spend the money on that. But I'm only gonna do this occasionally. So I didn't wanna put a lot of investment in it. If that was the case, I would just hire somebody. So I did some research. This actually received a great rating on Amazon. And I thought, you know, for 60 bucks and it's cordless, I can just plug it in or actually not plug it in, it's cordless. Uh, <laughs> Jazz, you're supposed to help me out. Come here, you're supposed to help me out. So it's, it's battery operated, which I absolutely love because we still boondock and I don't always want to use my battery. So we'll see if this actually holds up to the rating. And so I'm going to use the McGuire's product and this at the same time. And I'll let you know, follow along. We'll see how this goes and we'll see a thumbs up, thumbs down, but whatever. We'll find out if I'm right or wrong, or maybe I should have invested on a guy to help me out. Is that right, Jazz? Isn't that right? All right. Okay, we're gonna start out with this car coupe. We'll see how well this does. The only concern I have is last night, I pre-charged the battery and it only took a half hour to completely charge these. So they, so they at least gave us two, but I'm curious how long this charge is gonna last. So let's get to the waxing. You'll want to start with wool here, and then we're going to just take some of this and then um, dab that on to remove some of that oxidation. So we'll see how that works. So I have the oxidation remover on here. So as you saw, I had put too much on there. So what you want to do is you want to dab it so you don't want to put too much on and have it spinning and getting all over your face. So um, I always suggest dabbing it first and then buff that in obviously now this I can see already this buffer doesn't have the same power as the commercial one so you might have to take a little bit longer to do this and since I've never used it before I really can't say the result of it but we'll see what happens So once again, we're gonna take the high gloss polishing and we're gonna, this time carefully, put it on here. And then again, we're gonna dab it on the camper. So the next step is to put on the pure wax. And what I like to do is swap this out for a clean one. And We'll add some of that pure wax like that we did with the other re oxidized remover and the high gloss polish. Okay, once we got the wax on, we're just gonna let it sit a little bit and then we'll buff it up again one more time. And then I like to just 
just take my rag here and just kind of wipe it down a little bit. So let's uh, move this tape off here. You can probably already see the difference. And so this is before and this is after. And so tell me what you think. So I actually have a lot to do here. I'll let you know how long those batteries last, how far I get um, at the end of this video. And I better get going because I've got a lot of work ahead of me. What do I think of these two products? First of all, Meguiar's. This product does what it says. It went on great. It wasn't hard to get off. Um, it gave my RV a very great shine. The oxidizing removed that fadeness that you have. So I'm really impressed. I'm not, not making a dime off of this, but I would highly suggest if you're having problems with fading on your boat or your RV, use this product. Got a dog in the background, not mine. So the next thing I wanna talk about is this waxing machine. Was it worth the $60? Well, I wanna say that if I'm gonna continue waxing my RV, I'll have to be honest with you, I might have to go to a more professional grade. You're gonna get up to anywhere from a no brand name, about 150 to a brand name, about 200, 250. Um, not saying that it didn't do what it said it was going to do. It just took forever. It took me just to do the nose of this RV four hours. And one is because of the buffing speed. And two was the batteries. And I mentioned the batteries at the very beginning of this. And I was a little concerned about it. I had to recharge these probably every hour. Um, not impressed with the battery length. Uh, time now if I was just waxing the RV probably wouldn't have been an issue but because I was cleaning oxidizing and all that I had to change it out every hour so um, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing you'll uh, you'll have to I'll have to leave that up to you basically um, but was it worth the money um, the reviews were right on Amazon but I think for small projects it probably is worth the money for larger projects like this I would invest in a larger unit so so there you have it if you like what you saw today and you want to see more videos um, go ahead and put in the contact uh, what you'd like to see in the future and also don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching and have a great day